All right, this is a circuit that a lot of people are going to need and a lot of people in the, have asked for in the past. I just put it together. It's very simple. It consists of a 2N3904, which is an NPN, and I have two 2.7K resistors. I have a 9.1 volt uh, Zener diode and an LED. I'm using my variable power supply right here. Right now, the voltage is, I have it set for 8 volts. And what this does is just basically simulating like a 9 volt battery that you're charging. And say, the, say you're starting to charge this battery and it's at 8 volts. And you want to know when 9.7 has been reached or 9.8. You want an indicator to come on. So that's what this circuit is good for. I'm going to demonstrate right now. Right now the LED is off. I'll look straight down at it. I'm going to adjust the voltage right now as if the battery is charging. You'll see I'm going to turn that. It's going the wrong way. Alright, now I'm going high. Alright, 8.3. Alright, so right now I'm going to put it right where you can see it right there. Get some shade on it. Alright. Right now we're at 8.32. So now I'm going to slowly turn. Now we're at 8.8. .8. See the LED is not on. Right now we're at 9.1. It's not on. 9.3 is not on. 9.42. Uh, so right now it's 9.42. So let me just keep turning. Now it's starting to come on. There it is. It's on. Now what's good about the circuits? Nine point. I have it set for 9.7 right now. So once 9.7 is reached, that LED comes on. And the beauty of this circuit is it's not going to gradually going to come on. The span is only like 0.18 volts. So once you reach, this comes on at 9.7, the way I have it set up with this 9.1 volt Zener. So it'll start to come on around 9.52, like a little bit. But once it hits 9.7, it's fully on, which is great. You don't have it gradually getting brighter and brighter. Now you could use this for pretty much anything you want to monitor. You could make one of these for your car to let you know if the alternator is working. All right, what you do, this comes on right now. The reason why this comes on at 9.7 bright is because I got a 9.1 volt Zener, reverse bias, of course, and the voltage has to reach at least 9.1 to clear this Zener to get to the base. Now, you also need an extra 0.6 almost to get this transistor to turn on. So that's how you have 9.7, and that's why that's fully on. Say you want to make it 13.6, like to see if your car is charging, or 13.8. You would take this out, the Zener, and you put in, in place of it, like a 13-volt Zener. And 13, and then you'd need 0.6 to get this to come on. So 13.6 would get that LED to come on. Now, you can go a little higher. You can make it 14.2. If you wanted to go 14.2, after this Zener, the 13 volt that you would have, you'd have a regular uh, 1N4001 forward bias leaving here, heading into the base. This way you're getting an extra half of a volt or 0.6 added to that 13. So now you got 13 and a half, 13, 6, and then you add the extra 6. That'll bring you around 14.2, and that LED will start to come on around 14. 08 and at 14.2 it's fully on. So it's really handy to have the circuit. Just make sure you find out what the supply voltage is so you can put the proper resistor in to protect the LED. And you also want to use around, I'm using 2700 ohms right now feeding into the Zener going into the base of the 2N3904 and the base current is only 5 microamps with the circuit right now. And the whole circuit draws roughly 1.6 milliamps when, it's, when the LED comes on. So it's really good, and I'll show you right now, there's the voltage right now. I'm at 9.78, I went a little past it, but I could lower it to 9.7. Whoop, too far I went, let me go back. Is 9.69. You see it's on right there still. Now I'm going to turn it back and you're going to see it's going to go out pretty fast. Alright, so it's on right now at 9.7.
952. That's 952 right there. And you can see, I'm trying to get some, right now it's off at 9.52, and I'm going to go 9.57, see how fast it comes on. Right there. It's, I'm, yeah, it goes on really, it goes on really quick. That's why I like this. So you could use this for anything. If you're going to charge um, a 4.8 volt NICAD battery pack, you find out the voltage you want to have this LED to come on. You want to have this LED come on at a specified voltage. So say you, you want it to come on at like 6. So you put a 6 volt Zaner here. Actually a 6 volt Zaner wouldn't work. If you wanted to come on around 6 volts, so you put like a 4 point something volt Zaner, and then after that Zaner you would add a couple of either one or two forward biased diodes, 1N4001s, or you could use 4148s going into the base, and then you'll have that come on at the right voltage that you want.